Hello year two, it's day three of English here and we're going to be planning the layout of our leaflet. So we're going to be making a leaflet that looks a bit like this. Okay, so it's going to have a nice section on the front with two doors that open up, space for information in the middle and space for information on the back. And you're going to be deciding, using your plan from yesterday, which bits of information go on the front, which bits go in the middle, which bits come on the back. Okay. So to make one of these, you need an A4 piece of paper. And very simply, you fold in the two edges into the middle. And you put it down on the table. And you try and get it roughly even. And you press down the creases nice and firmly. And it should give you those flappy doors like that. So once you've got that, you need to think about what your title is going to be and what else do you want to put on the front page. So here's one I made earlier. It's got a very simple title. It just says Grace Darling. It's got a box for a picture and I've started drawing some lines for some writing. So to carry on doing that, I will need a ruler and a pencil. And I'm just going to very carefully draw some lines, leaving myself plenty of space in each line to do some very nice writing. Okay, for example, like that. And then this side, I'll need to decide I could put some writing and a picture or two pictures, whatever I would like. I still haven't done anything in the middle yet, but I'm working my way slowly throughout. Now I'm working with a pencil because I might need to change some things. I might change my mind. I might change the title. So I want to make sure I can rub things out as I go. Here's a finished front cover. And I think because it's the front, it needs to be really eye-catching, but I'm not gonna add any color yet because that's something I will do in my final draft. Because first we're gonna make just a pencil draft and then we're gonna make a beautiful finished draft with color and things in it. So here I might put information about Grace and then I might put something about her childhood on here and draw some pictures in later. So just to remind myself, I might just write a little bit in the box just so I can remember. I might write childhood there and I might write um, basic facts there and that's just reminding me about those are the things I want to put in each section okay still empty on the inside but I think because it's such a big space I'd like to put information about the rescue in there okay so I might do it something like this where I've got a lovely big box to put a giant picture, probably of the shipwreck. And then I can use this space. I might take that side and this space at the bottom to write about their rescue. I might even need all of it. But if I don't, this one might be useful for putting in the things that she was given afterwards to reward her. I'll see how much space I need as I'm writing. Okay, I do need a catchy title though. So something like, uh, oh, what a terrible night. That's quite dramatic. Oh, what a terrible night with an exclamation mark. There we go. So that is currently how it's looking. Now, I'm not doing my writing yet today. That's tomorrow's job. Today is just planning. So I might write in here, um, shipwreck, because that's what that picture is going to be about. And here I might do something about her being, having her portraits done. So portraits in there, shipwreck in there. And maybe I will draw a picture of the lighthouse where she used to live. And that one. Okay, so that's going to be information that goes with those pictures. Now on the back, I've decided, to, you can see when you turn it over, you've got the front two flaps. You close them up. And then on the back, it looks like that. So I've decided to do a box at the top, a box at the bottom, and I'm going to put some information about why she's important, why I remember her. And then I thought I could put at the bottom the logo for the RNLI, which is a bit like a flag with the letters RNLI in it. I'll see that. And then it says lifeboats. And if I wanted to, I might put some information about the museum. Like this could be a map 
to get to the museum. And I could use this space to put in some details about the opening times and things like that. So I might put some more lines in here. Okay, so you can divide up your leaflet any way you like so that the information goes in any section. And you make sure you put in boxes for pictures. Now, once I've done that, I've finished today's lesson. Like I said, I'm not writing, and I don't even need to draw the pictures yet, really, because that's tomorrow's job. If you want to start drawing some pictures, then you could, but I suggest you do some simple things, like maybe like stick figures or something simple, just because it's not going to be your final draft. You're gonna make one to practice in pencil, and then you're gonna make another one that is polished and amazing. So that's your lesson for today. Good luck. I will put a template on the website for you to print off, but the template is a threefold one, which means it is more like that. So you open it up if you want to print it out. But obviously you can use this format and the video I've just shown you in order to make one that opens much more simply. Right, good luck here too.